what a beautiful intro. This is just an example of what you can do with time remapping in After Effects. You can create something like this. You can also sync up videos to your own voice. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna show you how I did this in this short tutorial. Let's get started. I have my audio file right here, it's Mozart, Eine kleine Nachtmusik. We have some stock footage of some flowers and grass. You can download this project file for free, the links are in the description. So let's create a new composition, let's call this one Singing Flower. The size of the composition should be full HD, and we can set the frame rate to 60 frames per second. The duration, 2 minutes, and we're gonna hit OK. Now we're gonna grab the audio file and drag it to the composition. Let's adjust the work area to the length of the audio file. And now we're gonna convert the audio to keyframes. So we're gonna right click right here and go to keyframe assistant and convert audio to keyframes. And now let's see what we got. So we go to effects. We can go ahead and delete the left and right channel because we're only gonna use the keyframes for both channels. And now it's time to drag the stock footage to the composition. We're gonna start with flower one. Let's hit play. Now we can drag the other footage into the composition and make a small edit. So we're gonna take flower 2 and put it above flower 1. Let's drag this one to the left and hit play. So I'm gonna make a cut here and drag flower 2 to this frame right here. And let's play this one more time. And here I'm gonna cut to flower three. So let's drag flower three into the composition and drag it right over here and hit play one more time. All right, now I'm gonna take the last footage and drag it over here. Let's mute all these files. Let's hit play again. Right, so now we're done with the editing part. Let's enable time remapping. We're gonna select all the video files. We're gonna right click and go to time and enable time remapping. Let's start with flower one. We're gonna go and look at the audio keyframes that we created earlier. We're gonna select the slider right here and go to graph editor. Uh, let's zoom in a bit. Now we have to find the highest value of the audio keyframes between zero seconds and 3.5 seconds because at 3.5 seconds we made a cut, remember? We can think about this effect in this way. The higher the value or the volume, the closer to the end of the video. In this case, the flowers are open. And the lower the value, the closer to the beginning of the video. In this case, the flowers are closing. So I can see that the highest value is right here, 11.2 seconds. Let's click the graph editor button right here again and go back to the composition. We're gonna select flower one and pick up the audio keyframes. If we look at the duration of the first clip, we can see that it's 39 seconds long. And at the highest value of the audio keyframe, we want to display the final frame of the video. And as we can see right here, it's at 11 seconds and we want to change that to 39 seconds. So we're gonna click here to expand the time remap we're gonna go into this expression and now we want to multiply this expression by let's say three and now we get 33 seconds so let's change that number to 3.5 maybe now we're at 39 seconds so if we hit play here we can see how it looks like the only thing that I don't like about this result is these flowers right here they're kind of moving too fast. Let's see that again. So let's change the number back to three 
and let's see how it looks. Alright, now it looks better. Let's move on to flower 2. So once again we're gonna pick whip the audio keyframes. And now we have to find the highest value of the audio keyframes between 4 seconds and around 7 seconds. So let's select the slider right here again and go to graph editor. And here we can see that this is the highest value right here. And now we can go back to the composition and select this layer. And the duration of this layer is 36 seconds. But the value right now in the time remap is 16 seconds. So we're gonna go to the expression and we're gonna multiply this by 1.5. Maybe a little bit more. 1.6. And now we can see that we have 26 seconds. Let's hit play. Alright, that looks awesome. Let's move on to flower 3. We're gonna select this layer. We're gonna pick with the audio keyframes. We're going to search for the highest value of the audio keyframes between 7.5 and 12 seconds. So we're going to select the slider, go to graph editor, and, uh, and this is the highest value. We're going to go back to the composition, and we're going to look at the duration of this clip, and it's 6.03 seconds long. And as you can see, the time remap value is also 6.03 seconds long. And this could mean that the audio amplitude is too high for the length of this video. And as we scroll through this sequence, we can see that 6.03 seconds appears many times. And we don't get a lot of lower numbers like 1 or 2. And in this effect, we really want to have the spectrum between the lowest numbers, 0, and the highest numbers, 6 seconds. So what we want to do is to divide this expression instead of multiplying it. We're going to expand the time remap and go into the expression and divide this one by, let's say, 2. Maybe it's too much. Let's take a lower number like 1.5. And now let's hit play and see how it looks. And if we scroll through this sequence, we can see that we don't hit that 6 second mark uh, that many times. And it's good. Let's move on to the final clip, uh, the grass clip here. We're gonna pick whip the audio keyframes once more. Let's play and see what we got. Let's check the highest value of the audio keyframes. And we have the highest value right here. Let's go ahead and look at the duration. It's 19 seconds and we have 9 seconds here. Expand the time remap and uh, let's multiply this by 2. Alright, awesome. Let's look at the whole clip. The only thing we have to do now is to enable frame blending to make the final render a little bit smoother. Alright, that's it. We have played around with time remapping in After Effects. You can download the project file for free. Links are in the description. See you in the next one. Bye.